Grand Rising on November 20th, 2024. This is Empress, the one and only Empress Jennifer here. Okay, uh, people, uh, let's get into the word of the Most High, what the Spirit is saying to me about my situation, okay? And uh, I rebuke anyone trying to edit, uh, distort my video at this time because I've noticed I don't really listen to it after I make it. I go straight to downloading it on YouTube, but I rebuke you in Yeshua HaMashiach namesake that the message will go out just as I am stating it through the mouth of this earth angel that is sent to speak truth. So leave my videos alone, Satan, uh, Minion. Now, let's get into the word here. Matthew 13, um, 29. Let's start there. Uh, or maybe we'll go at uh, 28 where it's speaking on where the uh, farmer, the planter, planted his seed um, to grow his harvest, right? So at 28, the um, farm helper say, an enemy did this, he replied, where the weeds started growing up. Like, you... No, let's go ahead and read the word. The servants asked him, do you want us to go and pull them up? The, the uh, master or the boss said no. He answered, because while you are pulling up the weeds, you may uproot the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest. At that time, I will tell the harvesters first, collect the weeds and tie them in a in bundles to burn then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn now let's skip over to matthew um 36 in 13 chapter 13 36 then he left the crowd and went into the house yeshua that is his disciples came to him and said Explain to us the parable of the weeds in the field. He answered, The one who sowed the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world, and the good seed stands for the people of the kingdom. The weeds are the people of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the harvesters are the angels. I declare I am the harvester of the angels and those who have been sowing good seed in this season shall reap and harvest. And I am expecting, anticipating my harvest. And that is why you see a lot of things on the news that is like, whoa, this was going on. All these people involved. Yes. Because it's now time for the weeds to be exposed. Yeah. It, it, Yeshua said he used parables. So the parable is the weeds are you devil worshipers, devil uh, saboteurs. Earth. It's time for the to be exposed in 2024. I decree and declare that the word that I just read is being sent out all over the universe to expose, especially to close out this cycle that I am currently going through with an enemy trying to all around me, spreading weeds, lies, slander, theft of my property. And trying to keep me in shambles. No, darling. I'm going to reap my harvest that is specifically and divinely guided to come to me. And it shall come to me. And you are going to reap damnation, condemnation. Because it is time for that. So I need for you to un overstand the word that just went forth that I decree and declare and I sent out
out. No imposter, no copycat of mine shall no longer have possession, have rule or reign over my life because you are going to be exposed for the world to know who you are and whoever conspire with you, who back you on this bull crap that you have taken to come over my life, no more will it be allowed. You will not go into 2025 with your stolen riches. It is going to be distributed back to the ones you stole it from. And you are going to get out of power because you are not delegating it properly as the Most High wants you to. So you are going to be removed from office, period. There is no reason why I should be struggling. Only, only at this, this season of my life, you are, I'm here for a reason and you were brought into my life for a reason. So now that it is discovered by me, the victim of your shenanigan sabotorial bull crap now it is time for the harvest to be is ripened and it's time for everyone to be disclosed for who they truly are are you ready saboteurs are you ready because it is coming whether you are or not it is here it is at your door period. You will no longer have rule or reign or have the means to continue to uh, pick and choose who you going to have in your little game of survive the game that I'm going to put you in. Let's trade places and put you in a situation that you cannot recover from. Archangel cherubim spin your wheel around the block of those who are oppressing the people of the most high and i do not care what anyone thinks of me or how you say my relationship is with the most high develop yours with the most high because the most high created me so he knows who i am he knows how this day was going to play out for me before I even woke up this morning or even you yourself who's trying to critique me, okay? So, therefore, mind your business unless you are the business that I am talking about that came up against me and stole from me, tried to defame my character and take things from me and keep me in a stagnant position that is no longer going to be allotted. The reaping and the sowing of whatever you sown throughout the years is now coming to be known, shown, overstood to every human life. Get ready, because it is here, November 20th, 2024. It's 1025 AM where I am. The powers that were are no more. It is over.